the holidays are here, which for most people means lots of food and lots of family. But for queer and trans people of color, the word family can mean something entirely different. Don't get me wrong, a lot of the families that we were raised in are totally supportive, but for other folks, their families don't even understand who they are, which can lead to a lot of fights, a lot of rejection, and a lot of awkward moments. Her name's Veronica. But Veronica's a girl's name. Did you know that? So when we think about families, we're not just talking about the families that we were born into. We're also talking about the families that we create for ourselves. Throughout history, queer people have created our own families. We've constructed spaces to be our most authentic selves, whether that's the house ball scene, political organizing, queer bars, or even online. We've always built spaces to make each other feel loved and resist the forces that are trying to break us. But this year, our communities feel like they're under attack, because they are. President-elect Donald Trump ran on a platform that promises to deport millions of immigrants, gut abortion rights, and give more power to already militarized police forces. But he also chose as his running mate, Mike Pence, one of the most virulently homophobic politicians in this country. So this holiday season, it's so important to reach out to the people in your community who you love or want to build with. Now, more than ever before, we have to strengthen the bonds that unite us in the face of hate.